Well, Jake and Haley, it's about time. For some of us here, it's, it's like you guys have been together for a very, very long time. For, other, for others, it's like it's flown by, right? It says here that God has made all things beautiful in its appropriate time. He has made all things beautiful in His time. So when I started out by saying it's about time, I really meant it. Because it really is about time. It really is about what God can do over time and in His perfect time. And in His God's perfect time, He saw fit that today, Sunday, February 9, 2020, was a perfect time for your wedding day. And by the way, He also hooked you up with beautiful weather and a gorgeous backdrop. Jake and Haley, God bless you on your wedding day. And more importantly, in your marriage together, we are all, all of us are excited to see what God is going to do over time in your lives together. God bless you today. If you can't tell, I'm super proud of my sister. Not only is she talented, but she's wicked smart. Haley has a great sense of humor and is the life of any party, if anyone's ever partied with her. <laughs> She's also as sweet as they come. Getting to know Haley's been awesome. Uh, from day one, she's felt like she grew up on Greenbridge with us. Um, and it's just awesome to see how Jake and Haley really balance each other out. Um, it just shows how perfect they are for each other. For me, Jake has always been an older brother. Uh, whether he knew it or not, I always looked up to Jake and followed his lead. We joke about it, but Jake really is a brother from another mother. Uh, shout out Eileen. Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna win? What? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Haley, I love you so deeply it's often hard to put into words. God placed you in my life more than six years ago for a purpose I would never have believed if you told me back then. You love me even when I'm mad, upset, and frustrated with the world. You held my hand, led me down a path of blessings that I'm now looking back, I'm so thankful for. Jake, as I stand here today before our friends and family, I'm so excited to enter into this covenant of marriage with you and for you to become my husband. I plan to support you and care for you in anything you want to do, just as you have always done for me. I plan to tell you to fix your eyes on God and remember all that He has done for us whenever we feel like we've lost in touch. I promise to be your rock, a continuous source of encouragement and acceptance. I promise to be quick to listen, slow to speak, to talk out of love and not out of anger, to forgive you as I have been forgiven. I cannot wait to raise a family with you, and I promise to raise our children under the care and guidance of God. I promise to love you, not for what the world sees in you, but for everything that's unseen. Haley, I love you. I'm so blessed and thankful to have such an amazing woman in my life. By these means and with the blessing of God's Spirit, I pronounce that you are husband and wife, 
Jake, it's time. You may kiss your bride. Jake, my beautiful son, I only have one, and he's the apple of my eye, but uh, you've warmed our heart ever since that cold day in January 93. When you came into our life, and, and things haven't been the same, thank God you live down here in Florida where uh, we don't have to go outside in the, in the cold uh, like we do back home. But you have been the joy of our life, a son I couldn't be more proud of, and more importantly, you are a wonderful human being. I wish you and Haley the best, and I love you so much. I'm happy that my sister has a partner that makes her happy, and it's an extra bonus for me that Jake likes donuts as much as I do. <laughs> I'm so happy to be getting a brother, so welcome to our family, Jake. I saw you So now I guess I could say Haley's my sister from another mister. Uh, so let's have a toast uh, to Haley and Jake, to a long life of happiness, friendship, and yeah. 